So instead of bringing the guy towards me, I'm going to squeeze my knees and bring him to the ceiling. My leg is going to be about 90% of the work. My arm is going to be about 10%. So my arm is going to be just the last step, right? I personally like this here. I like to put this hand right here and this hand right here in the sleeve. Okay, and I lift the hand. Look, when the arm is not on the angle no more, because when it's in the V, he yeah. can stop right there, he's strong right there. When I stretch, look at that, the arm is on the angle no more, then I use my arm to break it down. When I break it down, I maintain the guy as much as I can, and that's it. And the cool about the close guard is this, man. When I close guard, I try things there, you know. Anything got wrong, you close your guard again and reset. The guy finds his posture again, okay, close your guard again. You have to break his posture again and reset. Okay, he open a guard. He's still gonna have to find another kind of guard, right? You got open a guard, you have to find your open guard, you're gonna have to find your, your half guard, your butterfly guard, or any other kind of guard. So that's the cool thing about closed guard also. The guy unlock your guard, he's still in your guard. Okay, it's different for the other guards, like open guard, for example, they gotta do a right move in the top, sometimes you go straight to a side control. Then you're steps behind. Okay, so closed guard for me is like a really good guard. Not just to make the guy in the top frustrated, but make him tired, you know, make him induce the guy to the mistake. You're gonna hold the hand here. I'm gonna bring my lead arm. So my right hand is a little, my lead hand, my strong one with a cross grip right there. See, right in the sleeve. I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna lock my wrist right top of his wrist, watch. That's the he's very important. Okay? I'm gonna bring my left hand next to my hip here. And I'm gonna do a little bump. And I'm gonna press my hand to the other hand. See? Because sometimes you try to find a gap right there, you don't have a gap, you don't have a space. So I put my hand right there, I do a little bend, bump, I create a space. Right now, I'm gonna use my leg. Like I just showed you guys, I'm gonna break his, grip, his, his posture right there, and then I cross your arm. Once I cross your arm, I'm gonna shift my hip using my hamstring, watch. I stretch my leg, and I shift my hip a little bit, then I'm gonna sit up, and I have the arm dragged. One thing here, once I sit up, as you guys notice, I'm not holding his arm no more. Why? Because what's gonna make his arm cross it is the pressure of your body, pressure of my chest on his shoulder here, see? I'm gonna keep close to him. You guys see how I sit up in my elbow? Okay, so don't laser right leg, because if they push the leg, his leg down, there you go. Now the guy can maybe, you know, keep progressing pressure of guard. So I have to hold my leg here, I lock my leg there, and that's the way I do. Okay, if you wanna hold something else, put a hand under his arm to here, or hold the belt or something, make sure you don't flake this leg right here. All right? But it's normal, so two things are gonna happen here. One thing, he's gonna try to look up to bring his right arm back, and that's the moment we're gonna try to sweep him. See? And the other thing, the guy tried to use his elbow to push my knee down here, that's it. So I'm gonna use these two reactions of Javier against him. And that's all Jiu Jitsu about it. Okay, it's a game of action reaction. So whoever react, react faster and have correct timing, gonna win. Okay? On my head here, I'm inducing him to that. Okay, so I'm expecting he do, he's gonna do this and I have to make sure I do my move in the right timing. Hyvesha looking up, see that? What I do now, I watch. I'm gonna slide my body, my right arm for between his leg, I'm gonna open my leg, I'm gonna roll him. So there's no weight on me, I can do that for guy 300 pounds. <laughs> See, watch my left leg here, we'll do a pendulum, look. We're gonna go all the way to the top. At the top, you stop your mounts, that's it. I like the high mounts, okay, so I like to go high right here, slide my knee, see I put my foot right there, so he can be possible to, to go to arm bar. Jiu Jitsu, you know, you have to learn up in parts, but the connection is very important. Okay, it's not like, oh, I'm out, so what I do right now? You do right now, he's escaped already. So you have to keep progressing, you know, you have to make more and more uncomfortable for your opponents. That's the idea, okay? And get a point, there's no more defense for him, then, you know, you have the, the submissions options. In order for the space for the arm to come out, he needs separation. There needs to be some sort of a space so now the elbow can come That's out. Right. So, in or look at my chest. So as he tries to pull it out, and I like to hug, I like to hug here, yeah, I like that's to hug a lot, yep, because, I'm sure. because what I'm doing is I'm, is I'm pinching, so as he pulls that arm, look, yep, he's right. actually pulling me up, absorption, so I'm absorbing, if he wants to pull the arm up, and, and then sometimes he'll start to pull the elbow, look, it's my hip, yeah, that blocks, I just follow him, because the space, go up please, boom, there's the space that he needs, 
So in order to prevent that from happening, as he pulls that up, look, go, 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 go. I just That's go with right. him. The second move, see there, have, see here. The second move, think about this, look. To, in order to bring my right arm back, I need to pose this arm on the floor. It's really hard to do it though. I have to do this mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Then I expose this left arm here to a lot of stuff. You can do that, is that you can do like a um, bar right here. Yeah, it's a bunch of stuff. Right. That. There's a bunch of stuff you can expose there. See, I had to post my weight right here to try to bring my arm back, see? And what he says is very important here. See, look, you know, just shoulder right, his chest right away in my shoulder. See, so he keep my elbow blocked right there. That's the key right there. The force is also strong here. The force is strong here, people. Because if his elbow's on the ground, and I want to move his hand over there, or he starts to come, go. I'll put weight yeah, on the hand, yeah. so it's going to force his hand to go where I want it to go. Triangle, you know, beautiful. For stuff awesome. like that. Yeah, you know what I'm perfect. saying? So I can keep the weight. I control the weight on that hand. Watch the electricity come from my hand. I'll go here, look. Did you see yeah. it? The electricity's there. There's your triangle, oh. or take the back, yeah, or come. That's right. <laughs> Let's so do it. Control. Question? One, two, three. Nice. Thank you.